thousands line up to register in refugee camps in the Horn of Africa. This is the epicenter of the world's most critical humanitarian crisis. Drought and hunger have driven millions from their homes. 250,000 people are still at risk of starvation. At this camp in southern Somalia, women receive their weekly supply of charcoal so they can cook. Water is scarce in an area that has been ravaged by war for the past 20 years. Somalia's current government is receiving support from the international aid community to respond to the crisis, but the challenges are grave. Much of the southern part of the country is controlled by the militant group Al-Shabaab, which recently banned some international relief agencies from working in the areas they control. This means getting food and essential supplies to people living in these areas is increasingly difficult. And the gains that have been made in recent months to bring some areas out of famine could easily be undone. Adding to the danger is the issue of piracy. The threat of hijack is real for any vessel passing near the country's coastline, and the lure of ransom and loot often proves too strong to resist. Rebuilding Somalia and securing its people's future is not a job for the faint-hearted. Despite these challenges, the international humanitarian and development communities are on the ground working where possible with local communities to make a difference in the lives of ordinary Somali men, women and children. Abdullah Al Laham of the United Nations Development Program is visiting the central Somali town of Adado, where he first calls on the region's president, Mohammed Abdullahi Moalim. The problem we have right now is the high peak of pirates and, and you know youth uh, turning to pirates or maybe al shabaab so the only way we can recruit those people uh, those youth is to create uh, something that uh, you know that they feel better UNDP is working with the local government and partners in Adado to give the region's youth alternative options to piracy and militancy this includes providing temporary jobs building schools hospitals and other vital infrastructure for the town's approximately 45,000 residents. In this part of the country, signs of Somalia's war-torn past are easy to spot. But it's the sights and sounds of development, which often takes years to show results, that bring a glimmer of hope to towns like Adado. In the town of Adado alone, UNDP's Cash for Work program has so far generated about 850 jobs. Each job lasts about 40 days. Here, workers, both men and women, are building a hospital. And at the end of the day, each one of them will take home an average of about five US dollars. <laughs> Meanwhile, UNDP's Allah Ham is visiting a school he and his team have helped reconstruct. The students in this class now dream of a brighter future. UNDP is also investing heavily in vocational training for Somalia's youth. Here in this class, they're being trained as plumbers and electricians. A few hundred miles away in northern Somalia, the situation is relatively better. Drought and famine haven't ravaged this part of the country. Democratic institutions and infrastructure such as roads and ports work more efficiently. The markets are busy. Trade appears to be thriving. But even here, tales of piracy still lure youth into a career of crime. Bosasso's jail alone houses 224 pirates. Most young people, they know they have nothing to do with them in life. You know, it's kind of hard, and they see easy money. 
A short distance from the jail, we meet 27-year-old Muhammad Jama, also a former pirate. Jama agrees to talk to us, but only on condition we don't show his face. Three of his attempts to try to rob ships ended in failure. Then his own mother turned him in and he spent three years in jail. Now Jama is signing up along with hundreds of other young men into a UNDP-supported program to rehabilitate youth. Back in the central Somali town of Adado, that's precisely the motto of painter Jamal Ahmed. He's just about finished painting this building, which will soon open as a maternal and child health clinic for the community. After a long day at work, Ahmed changes into fresh clothes and heads home to his wife and infant son. Ahmed has what many believe is in short supply here, hope. For UNDP TV, I'm Satinder Bindra in Adado, Central Somalia.